हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द डिस्पर्जन ऑफ एयर पॉल्यूटेंट इन द एटमोस्फेयर नाउ द डिस्पर्जन ऑफ एयर पॉल्यूटेंट कॉजेस डिसीजेस दैट टू ह्यूमंस डैमेज टू अदर लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स सच एज फूड क्रॉप्स और द नेचुरल और बिल्ट एनवायरमेंट नाउ वी हैव टू सी द वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ लैप्स रेट now we will discuss one by one the lapse rate now what is lapse rate we had seen that with the increase in the height of the uh, environment with the increase in the height of the environment as we move towards the top side of the earth what will happen the temperature goes on decreasing now this decrease in temperature with increase in height is known as lapse rate okay now if we move to the low, higher altitude or towards the atmosphere then the temperature will decrease now this decrease in temperature with increase in height is known as lapse rate clear to all now what is environmental lapse rate for that we need to understand something now we kept a balloon here and in this balloon we generally fit a thermometer here to measure the decrease in temperature of the outside environment and it will give the data to us on the ground okay now we will send this parcel to the atmosphere now the thermometer will record the decrease in temperature of the outside environment and that decrease in temperature of the outside environment is known as environmental lapse rate okay now its definition is given as environmental lapse rate that is elr the rate at which the air temperature changes with with height in the atmosphere surrounding a cloud that is known as environmental lapse rate okay now what is adiabatic lapse rate suppose that we had filled a balloon with hot gases and inside that balloon we just kept a thermometer to measure the decrease in temperature inside that hot air balloon now we will send this air balloon to the atmosphere and with the increase in altitude the decrease in temperature of the inside environment of the balloon will be measured by this thermometer and this decrease in temperature of the inside of the balloon is known as adiabatic lapse rate now the adiabatic lapse rate is the rate at which the temperature of an air parcel changes in response to the compression or expansion associated with elevation change under the assumption that the process is adiabatic that no heat exchange occurs between the given air parcel and its surrounding okay now depending on the environmental lapse rate and adiabatic lapse rate we had three types of condition that is super adiabatic lapse rate sub adiabatic lapse rate and neutral lapse rate when the decrease in temperature of the outside environment is greater than the decrease in temperature of the inside of that air Uh, inside of the of that air balloon then that type of lapse rate is known as super adiabatic lapse rate it means that when environmental lapse rate is greater than the adiabatic lapse rate it means that when the decrease in temperature of the outside environment is greater than the decrease in temperature of the inside of air balloon then that phenomena is known as super adiabatic lapse rate and it is an unstable state okay now next one is the sub adiabatic lapse rate when elr that is the environmental lapse rate is less than the adiabatic lapse rate it means that the decrease in temperature of the outside environment is less than the decrease in temperature of the inside of air balloon then that type of lapse rate is known as sub adiabatic lapse rate and it is a stable state when the environmental lapse rate will be equals to adiabatic lapse rate then this state is known as neutral lapse rate okay now at the higher atmosphere what will happen with increase in the height the increase in temperature will takes place okay at the very high altitude of the atmosphere with increase in altitude the increase in temperature will takes place now if temperature increases with the increase in height the lapse rate is known as inversion or negative lapse rate that is all about the dispersion of air pollutant in the atmosphere and the lapse rate concept thank you very much students